All right, so this is the TR-8 shotgun turret. A couple videos of this, and the turret works. I am not impressed with it. Um, the turret itself is not a bad design. Um, what I'm not impressed with is the power that I'm getting with it. And you can see it hit the wall back here. It looks like it's doing okay. Um, and then you shoot it somewhere else, and it's kind of like, uh, I wish it would shoot harder. Well, this is what's powering it, the TR-8. And the TR-8 is great at shooting one projectile and doing it reliably. I think that a square barrel version of the TR-8 um, could be the most effective. And that's because a square barrel has more room for your firing pin um, to kind of wiggle around in almost, um, so there's less friction. Whereas this barrel, a rounded barrel, literally it's the hole that connects pieces that the firing pin travels in. And so that adds a lot of friction. You lose, a, there's a lot of friction loss. You lose a lot of power and uh, per rubber band. So yes, this gun will shoot, you know, 250 to 300 feet with thin ammo and is great, reliable. Um, I think that ultimately the best TR-8 would be a square barrel version of it in which you don't sacrifice any of the reliability that you get with this. And that's that's really a hard thing to accomplish um, with the slide that's worked so well, everything. So that's a project in and of itself, but we'll talk about that another time. Um, but what I wanna do is use these shotgun barrels. This is the barrel that I use on my 18 barrel, or 18 uh, turret, shotgun barrel video or whatever. Um, I just have the pieces up front and an empty space in back because this is where all the other barrels would connect to each other. So this is the length of the barrel. Seven green rods exactly, which is really nice. So that's a lot of ammunition going down range. Holds it very nice. Um, and then if you do it this way, same exact barrel, over 30 of those little uh, orange micro connects so if you're indoors and you need you know this is a great ammunition and then if you're outdoors or even indoors this ammunition is a little bit harder it's gonna hit a little bit harder it's like bird shot buck shot sort of idea um, but with the shotgun you're gonna need a square barrel if you're doing an 18 round turret this is my take on the uh, swag boss um, back when that came out I built uh, I tried to build the trigger and stuff without breaking pieces. I did successfully do it. Uh, I have it all torn apart right now. And um, but what I did do is I modified the the connection here. And this connection is very strong. Um, you can kind of see. Uh, let's see if I can get an angle. This rod here is just sort of snug in place, and that's not going anywhere. You could change this out with a black rod and uh, mount the 18 round turret. So by doing that, um, you're gonna have a awesome turret connection for the 18 round turret. Obviously you need one at the front to, to support it, but um, this is the connection I wanna use, not the gun, just the connection. Um, but remember, square barrel is what I would need to use. Um, I actually like this trigger idea. It is a straight back slide trigger. However, really the thing that I like best about it and all this straight back slide thing can be modified, but the roller bearing trigger, that's what I like. Um, it really reduces friction, makes charging the weapon very easy. So that's the, uh, the trigger idea I wanna use. So that trigger idea, this connection point, square barrel, and these shotgun barrels all mounted together. And then if I can, I wanna make it pump action. That is the ideal weapon I'm trying to build. So let me give you an idea how this shoots. Um, we'll start with the green rods and we'll go from there. That one almost came back and hit me. So that shoots really well. I'm gonna try the orange micro connects.
And that's uh, not too bad as well. There's actually a couple micro connects. Looks like they got stuck in the barrel. Maybe just one. Or two. So, not too bad. It sh I shot the uh, seven green rods really hard. And that is ultimately what I'm looking to shoot. So, it did leave a few of those orange pieces in there. Um, but that's something that could be worked out. You could even shorten the barrel. And how you would do that is simply mount um, well, this mini firing pin that's in there. You just mount it further forward so that way you can only load so many of them up. That's one way to basically, uh, so that way you can only put like 25 rounds or however many rounds of this seems to shoot best. And uh, so that's that. This is what I want to work on. This is the gun that I'm trying to get built and I think is really the ultimate indoor connects weapon. So hopefully you like the video. Hopefully you learned something and can help me out.